This is an operating systems question based upon multi-level paging. We have been given a three-level page table which is used to translate a 39-bit virtual address to a physical address as it is shown over here. So we're having 39-bit virtual address which implies that the maximum process size that we can have is 2 to the power 39 bytes but this is the maximum possible size it does not mean that we will definitely have a process of this much size we can have even of a lesser size let us see what is given the page size is 4 kb let us note down these things page size is 4 kb which means 2 to the power 10 plus 2 which means 12 bytes now along with this we have Along with this, we have been given that the page table entry size, which means the PTE, that is 8 bytes. And a process P is currently using 2 GB virtual memory means, as we just saw, 2 to the power 39 bytes is the maximum possible size. But our process is using just 2 GB, which means 2 to the power 30 plus 1 31 bytes so this is the size of the process that we have so among this total oh, available virtual address space we are using just 2 to the power 31 bytes so we will say our logical address space let us call it this 2 to the power 31 bytes and it is mapped to 2 gb of physical memory so this logical memory of 2 gb is mapped with the same amount of physical memory physical address space so what do we want the minimum amount of memory required for the page table of process p across all the levels so in this diagram it can be seen that there is three level paging used and at every level we will have certain number of pages which will be occupying the corresponding page tables why do we require this multi-level paging at first place is because we have let us say p number of pages in total in our process now for these pages we need to create the corresponding page table entries and when the number of pages grows very large then what happens is that our page table itself grows so large that it cannot be occupied in a one single page so that is when we need to divide that page table into across multiple pages so that is how first we get this level 3 page table because it cannot be fit into one single page we go for this level 2 paging again there the same problem occurs we still cannot fit them in one page then we go for this level 1 paging here we have one single page that has the entries but one thing to be noted over here is that uh, let us call this as PT1, PT2 and PT3. So this is page table in level 1. What will it have as its entries? The entries of the level 1 page tables will have the mapping to the corresponding level 2 page tables. Similarly, the entries of level 2 page tables will have the mapping to the corresponding level 3 page tables. And the entries of these level 3 page table will give us the actual address, the actual frame number where our word will be located. So this is how the address resolution will be done. And the distribution of bits is given as 9, 9, 9 and 12. These 12 bits will correspond to the offset and these three nines correspond to the size in those respective levels so let us see how we'll be dealing with this first of all we will find out what is this p which means the total number of pages in our process so that will be found as total number of pages equal to the logical address space or our process size divided by the page size so which is 2 to the power 31 upon page size what is it this 2 to the power 12 bytes means 4 kb so this becomes 2 to the power 31 minus 12 that is 19 so in our process we have 
number of pages equal to 2 to the power 19. So now what we will be doing this with this for these many pages we have to create the same number of entries in the page tables. So what we will do is we will have 2 to the power 19 entries in the page and what is the size of each entry this 8 bytes. So this becomes 2 to the power 19 plus 3 22 bytes. This is beyond the size of a page. Page size is just 4 KB which means 2 to the power 12 bytes. So this cannot fit into one single page and hence we will need to go for the multi-level paging. So let us see how that will be done. Now we will start with this outermost which means this level 3 page table we will be starting with. So there how many bits are allocated? 9 bits. So that tells us that in level 3 every page has 2 to the power 9 entries and with these entries how many pages are to be mapped? All the pages in that process which means 2 to the power 19 pages have to be mapped. One page is having just these many entries. So what will be the number of pages that the level 3 page table will be divided into? It will be given as the PT3 size which means the size of the level 3 page table. You can say the number of total entries there are two ways of getting this actually you can get it as total number of pages like this upon the number of entries per page so it gives 2 to the power 10 which means in level 3 we will be having that is right over here level 1 2 and 3 in level 3 we will have 2 to the power 10 pages and each of these page will have 2 to the power 9 entries. So now let us move on to level 2. Now in level 2 again there are 9 bits allocated which means there are 2 to the power 9 entries again in every page. And what is the total number of pages that have to be mapped? Same as 2 to the power 10 which is the total number of pages in level 3. So here what we will have is the number of pages required over here will be 2 to the power 10 upon 2 to the power 9 which is 2 which means in level 2 we will need just 2 pages. Why? Every page will have 2 to the power 9 entries and we want to map these many entries because as we so earlier every entry in PT2 means level 2 page table will map to an entry in to a page table in level 3 which means this is level 2 this is level 3 there will be multiple pages in level 3 so every entry in level 2 will correspond to one page in level 3 so that is how it works we got only two pages in level 2. So now is there a need of further paging or we are done? The thing is there are again 9 bits allocated to level 1 as well. Let us see why is that needed. At level 2 we have got 2 pages which means in level 1 we will have 2 entries to be mapped means two pages of level 2 are to be mapped and again there are 9 bits in level 1 which means there are 2 to the power 9 entries per page and how many do we have to map the corresponding pages in level 2 hence now in level 1 we will be needing just one single page having these two entries so this is level 1 there are two pages in level 2. In this we will have two entries one for this page and one for this page. So now we are done. There will be one single page in level 1. No further paging is required. So now we have got the number of pages in every level. 
what is the next thing that we'll be doing we have to find out the total size of all the page tables so for that what is the total number of pages that we used explicitly for the page tables we used one in level one two in level two and two to the power 10 in level three which means one plus two plus one zero two four that is one zero two seven so these many pages have been used to explicitly store only the page tables and what will be the size resulting out of this it is 1027 the total number of pages and size of every page is 4 kb we want the answer in kbs only so the total memory required will be 1024 times 4 kb this has to be our answer when we calculate this it becomes 7 plus 28 8 so 2 4 twice 8 and 2 10 4 1 0 8 so 4108 bytes is the total amount of memory that we need to use explicitly for storing the page tables across all the levels so answer for this one will be 4108 kbs